What is going on YouTube? I have, I know I just made a video yesterday, but I've let a pile of stuff just absolutely pile up, waiting on different things to come in. And everything has come in except for one card, and that seller absolutely sucks. I bought and paid for it Monday morning and never heard anything about shipping. So I contacted him on Wednesday and said, hey, you got a tracking number for me. He responds with, I only ship one day a week. It'll go out Saturday. That's all it said. And it says nowhere in his listing that he only ships one day a week. He's just being a dick. So I'm not really concerned about waiting on that card. So I wanted to get this video shot because I have all of this show. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. It's a few weeks worth of stuff. Um, up first got three baseball cards to show uh this one popped up late one night on raz and i always wanted one of these cards and to me it was 15 dollars for it was 10 spots for a dollar 50 i said for 15 bucks it's worth that much fun it's a 1989 fleer billy ripkin air card the fuck face card as a kid you always heard about this card and it was always one that you'd really like to have, and now I do. So for 15 bucks, it's worth that all day long to me. Uh, up next was a purchase off of uh, Facebook and YouTube. Well, actually off of a YouTube uh, video I saw it in. Chad Thundering 24 did a box break of 2013, or no, 2014 Tops Tribute Baseball. And he pulled this card, and I contacted him. We made out a deal for it, and he shipped it out, and... That guy knows how to package cards to keep them very well secured. So thank you for that, Chad. And here it is. It's from 2014 Tops Tributes, the orange or bronze parallel. Numbered 13 out of 40, which is Salvador Perez's jersey number. And we know how I like those. So I don't particularly collect baseball because I can't afford to collect everything I want. So I tend to stick to football, but really really like this card so thank you for that chad and then the last baseball card i'm going to show i won this on a raz um it was up there was one spot left in it and i said you know what i'm going to gamble i'm going to take a spot in it and i won it and i'm pretty freaking thrilled because this was a huge card when i'm a kid and it's still a big card um a legendary set well I guess it does say that in the title, but um, this is from 19, 1999, it looks like. Yeah. 99 Upper Deck Century Legends Epic Signatures On Card Autograph, Mr. Ken Griffey Jr. with a perfect autograph. Super, super nice card. So, to one spot this card for $16. You cannot go wrong. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to get into some football. Uh, first card I'm going to show is from 2012, Topps Magic. It is uh, another one of the pigskin minis that I'm missing for the Packers collection. And it is the Brett Favre, numbered 40 out of 50, graded PSA 9. I just haven't cracked it out of the ca uh, case yet. I'm going to because... It's not a gym mint, so why keep it in there? But really, really love these cards. Love the pigskin minis. And then next we've got a pile of refractors from a 50 case break on blowout of Topps Chrome Football uh, from 2014. Um, it was a pick your player auction style, and uh, I put in a bid. For Clay Matthews and won it initially, but the break didn't fill. It didn't get make enough money, so they opened everything back up, and I wasn't going to raise my bid. Somebody else outbid me, and then one of my good friends, Luke, Mr. Drunk Trojan One, made a deal and bought the spot from the guy who had beaten me. And Luke was kind enough to give me everything in that break that came out of Clay Matthews and that included a 400 count box which I would say probably had 
I'd say at least 300 base and refractors, the base card and the base refractor in it, all of Clay Matthews, and then all of these colors. Uh, we've got the green refractor. We've got how many blue waves? Three blue waves, I believe. And these cards are very pretty. Good looking cards. Got a pulsar. It's one of my favorites. You got two camos numbered out of 499, number 27, and 408. Got a pink breast cancer awareness numbered out of 399. And a black refractor numbered out of 299. Like I said, Luke gave me all of those. He didn't have to do that, but he was trying to hit me something very cool so he could gift it to me. So thank you very much for those, Luke. And uh, this next card is also from Luke. He was out in California on vacation uh, here recently, and he came across this card and picked it up for me and uh, sent it back here before um, – or no, he sent it with Ryan up here to trade night last weekend. Uh, since he couldn't make it, he sent it with Ryan along with those cards. But from 2012, Panini Prestige. It's the Stars of the NFL Prime Patch. And it is disgusting. Look at that thing. Tons of stitching. That's from the nameplate. Don't know if it's from the A, the E, or the H. Not sure. It's one of those three would be my guess. Um, but... Super, super nice card and very short printed. Numbered 7 out of 15. I have one of these already, but this one is nicer. So thank you very much for that, Luke. Incredible card. Love that design with the team colors. So thank you for those. And continuing with the Clay Matthews stuff. This is from 2014 Bowman Chrome. This is the Pulsar Refractor. And that is numbered 205 at 271. Very pretty card for the rainbow. This is from 2013 Panini Crown Royale. It's the gold hollow foil. It's kind of overcast out here, but it's gorgeous outside, so I want to shoot the video out here. But there's not much in the way of light. But that is number 20 out of 25. Very sharp card there. We got this one off of Blowout for $12.50 shipped. Uh, $12.50 shipped, yes. And I was happy to have it. It was a rookie card I didn't have from 2009 Score Inscriptions. Got the Red Zone rookie card numbered 29 out of 30. Very nice card there. Then this one is 2013 Tops. The um, manufactured captain's camo patch, numbered 85 out of 99. Really cool card there. Then from 2014 Prestige, we've got the Extra Points Black. It says Extra Points along the bottom there, but it's hard to even see in person, let alone on camera. But right along there it says extra points. But that is numbered 8 out of 10. Very shiny card. I like that one. And then from the 2014 Topps Chrome Mini, we've got a mini camo refractor. I really like these cards. I've got another one of these coming in, a different parallel. But... They're really cool in person. I like the minis. And that one's number 92 out of 99. The minis are shorter print than the full-size cards because, well, they didn't make 11,000 cases of mini. So they shrunk down the size, which is what they should have done with normal chrome. But they're money grubbers, so that isn't how that's going to happen. Um, up next, 2013 Panini Prism. We've got the purple cracked ice. Yeah, not having sunlight right now is really screwing up how pretty these cards are. This is my second copy of this card. I I had two before, and I think I sent one off to somebody, but I'm not sure. But I got another second one in there, and that one's numbered 1 out of 40. These are some of my favorite cards. I love Panini Prism. 
Love the parallels. And then next we've got a little uh, lot that I bought off of eBay uh, from a seller from the 2014 Tops Fire. They had all these flame parallels, which are the foil versions of the base cards. But got the rookie card of Devontae Adams, rookie card of Ha Ha Clinton Dix, Eddie Lacy. Very cool looking card there. Randall Cobb. Thank God he got re-signed with us and for the right reasons. He wanted to be not just loyal to the team, but he knows how much the fans love him and how good of an opportunity he has to win championships with Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback. And he knows that he could have chased the money elsewhere, but they didn't have the chance to win. So I'm really, really happy he stayed. And then they had the clay that I needed. And the last one that I had from that lot was the Blue Fire. The Blue Parallel, number 228 out of 299. Really sharp looking cards. Really like the set. I was, un I was unsure about it until I got them in hand. And I do. I really like them. And, okay. Up next, eBay purchase from 2014 Tops Fire as well. We've got the red fire parallel, and as you can see down there in the corner, it is the one of one. Very nice card there. So this was the first uh, non-auto from fire that I bought, so I figured, you know what? Got the one of one, might as well try to build the rainbow. So slowly working on that. They don't pop up all that much because I don't know that a ton of it was broken. So we'll see. Up next, this was a purchase from Facebook from a guy I knew uh, through Blowout and now on Facebook. Uh, he had some clays, and I purchased this one off of him from 2011 Tops Inception. It's the Cyan Printing Plate 1 of 1 from 2011. Very good picture on that printing plate, and I love that... Uh, Inception have the frames on them like the old uh, Upper Deck Masterpieces. Really cool to be framed up like that. It makes them present well and looks better than a normal printing plate. So, happy to have that. This next card was a card that I already owned. And I had it in a PSA 10 um, case that was mislabeled. They put the wrong title of the card on it. So, I figured... Uh, I would send it into BGS and try to get it cross graded over because I like BGS slabs better than PSAs anyway. And I sent it in with Luke because when I was down in at Ryan's for trade night last month, um, I stayed with Luke and he was going to be sending out a BGS order. So I had my cards with me. So I just sent this one with him to get cross graded over. So long as it was a minimum 9.5, as long as they, uh, that was the only way I wanted them to take it out of the slot, out of the, PSA case and it graded 9.5 so it crossed over like I said there's no light so it's really hard to see but this is the gold hollow foil rookie signatures and 14 out of 25 and graded 9.5 10 so thank you very much for that Luke and this card is a pop 2 on the BGS report and I own both of them this one popped up for sale on eBay as a terrible listing by Probstein123, misspelled his name, and found it, and I bid on it, and because it didn't have much traffic, I won it for, in my opinion, about half, maybe a little less than half of what the card should sell for. So, I've got both the cards on the entire population report, so... A very rare clay card. You do not see these pop up ever. So to have both of them in nine, five, ten is super tough because these these sets were very chippy. They, they had corner issues and chipping along the edges on the backs of them. And these cards are clean. So happy to have both of those. Uh, the one numbered sixteen out of twenty five is available for trade or sell. Prefer to sell it unless. 
you have something of clay that I really want or something for my defensive Hall of Fame PC that I would really want. So, really looking to sell it. But, okay, how do I want to do these last stack of cards? You know what? I will save the defensive Hall of Fame PC stuff for last. I will go ahead and show the last Clay Matthews in this video. And, man, it's one of my favorites. It's a giant, giant card in the Clay Matthews card world. It is from the new 2014 Museum Collection Football. Clay's first on-card autographs since his rookie year are in this product and this one popped up on eBay and I it had it was listed for a massive buy it now did not have a best offer on it so and I was not going to pay the buy it now price but after about 5 or 6 hours of it being listed the seller added a buy it, or a best offer option and him and I went back and forth on a few offers and he finally accepted one or he made a counter offer to me and I hit buy it now I accepted it because it was a great price. I think a steal for what this card is. But from 2014 Topps Museum Collection, we have got the gold ink on card autograph with the 52 inscription numbered 4 out of 5. And this card is pretty. This light, or lack thereof, is not doing this card any justice whatsoever. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, that card's beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. So, super pumped to have that in the collection, and I don't care if I buy anything else from a uh, museum collection, because the only card better than this is the 101, and I don't know what color ink it's going to be in, but... The silver ink cards do not compete with the gold inks, in my opinion. At least here on this clay. The way clay is designed with the green uniform and everything, and the gold border, gold ink kills it. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. So That is the end of the Clay Matthews portion of this video. And now on to my latest, I wouldn't say obsession, but man, I've been picking up a lot of stuff for this side PC. And I'm loving every minute. I love searching for people other than Clay on eBay. I, I do it all the time and not very much pops up. Uh, I mean, new stuff of Clay pops up every day. It's just a lot of the time it's relistings of stuff that didn't sell the first time. And it's not stuff that I need. So I see a lot of the same cards. Uh, and so looking looking for these guys on my Defensive Hall of Fame uh, and Legends PC list is a lot of fun. And I picked up... A lot of really nice cards lately and this first one is an upgrade for my Deacon Jones I had the uh, two color patch autograph from 06 I think it's, it's either 06 or 07 National Treasures um, two color patch auto and it's a great card but I like this one better it is beautiful on card autograph from 2001. 2001 Topps Archives Reserves Refractor Autograph on card of Dave Deacon Jones. Man. Yeah, lack of light really is screwing this card up. Beautiful, beautiful card. And you can see that autograph all on card and bold all the way through awesome card and is this guy was so freaking good and scary i i, I just love listening and to uh old interviews with him when he was playing and watching video of him. i mean the guy was a terror he was scary and then uh later on in life when he's older his, his interviews he he's still an intimidating man all the way up until uh when he passed away but Really love this card, and as important as he is to the history of football, I got this card for under $21 shipped, and that, to me, is a travesty. It's sad, because he should sell for a lot more than he does. But, worked to my benefit this time around, because I was able to add a really nice card to my PC for 
next to nothing. Up next, this is my first card from this product, or second card from this product. I have a very nice Jordy Nelson on-card autograph from Mr. Ryan Curtis from uh, 2014 Panini Flawless that uh, he sent me a nice, nice care package. Um, it was a late Christmas package. It was, I can't remember when, it, it was either January or February when he sent it to me. And I shot a video recording it all, but during the video, I knocked the camera over four or five times and the video was just terrible. So I didn't want to upload it because it was nauseating to watch and just wouldn't have done any kind of uh, service. It would have been a disservice to Ryan to put it up there. But uh, the Jordy Nelson, I will show some highlights from the package he sent me uh, in, a late, in a later video because the cards are awesome and I truly appreciate it, Ryan. I messaged him and told him everything about the video, so he knows what I'm talking about. But that's my little little bit of rambling. But from 2014 Panini Flawless, I got this card. I mean, I got it at the about the price they're selling for they sell anywhere from like 90 to 125 somewhere in that range but i got this for a hundred dollars on a best offer and the fact that i can get a card from a product that costs 1200 or 1250 dollars a box for me to get this card for a hundred dollars is just hilarious to me but here it is 2014 panini Fallist. Emerald dual patch autograph numbered two out of five. We've got a two color patch down there at the bottom, and a two color patch with stitching at the top. Got the black and uh, gold ribbing down here in the bottom, and then the black and white patches up top. Man, this thing is. This video quality might not be the best today, but super, super killer on card autograph for Rod Woodson. A lot of the autographs on these cards are very bubbly and streaky, and this one just does not have any of that. It is crisp. So, really happy to knock him off the list with a card that freaking nice for that price. Love it. And what do we got next? Oh, this is what we've got next. Most people have already seen most of the stuff on uh, Facebook because I, I can't, when I get these cards in, I just got to post them because I just don't have any patience. But for those of you who haven't seen this, I just got it in this week and it is one of my favorite cards in my entire collection. It is so freaking cool to me. Um, one of my favorite players and coaches and just general people in football. I, I just love the guy. Um, he was the linebackers coach for the Packers from 2009 until 2014. <sighs> Such a cool, super rare card from 2004. Tops all time fan favorites autograph. Quivering Quake. Mr. Kevin Green. On card, bold autograph. It is an incredible, incredible card. I've been searching for these, for one of these for quite some time. I, uh, another fellow collector on Blowout and Facebook and everything, he, uh, he gave me the link to his bucket and he had one of these and I was like, oh my God, I got to find one of these cards. Well, I thought it would be easy. It is not. These things do not come up for sale. They're really rare and... I put in a, this This came up on auction, and I messaged the seller and said, hey, I'll give you this much for it if uh, you want to outright sell it to me. And he goes, no, he goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the auction run, but he goes, who knows, maybe you'll win it for less than you're offering. And I did. So, <laughs> pretty freaking pumped about that. Uh, when it came down to time to bid on this card, my bid, I threw down a $105 bid on this card because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to lose this card. I would pay $105 for it. And if anybody's going to outbid me, it's going to hurt me. But 
I have a feeling it'll hurt them worse. And that wasn't the case. I wanted for under $50 shipped and I couldn't be happier. The guy should be in the Hall of Fame. He's the number three on the all-time sacks list behind Bruce Smith and Reggie White. Number three at 160 career sacks. And he's not in the Hall of Fame. It's embarrassing. Incredible, incredible player. Uh, you watch old video of this guy, and he looks like Clay Matthews out there running around. And he came on as the linebacker's coach Clay's rookie year, and he mentored Clay and Aaron Campman and made these guys uh, – the, I mean, the players that they were. I mean, Aaron was towards the end, towards the end part of his career. He uh, he only got to play a couple games for Kevin Green before he blew out his knee, I believe it was. And then after the season, the Packers released him and he ended up signing him with Jacksonville and finished his career out there. But this guy is a key part, and the player that Clay Matthews is, and why I collect Clay Matthews. And like I said, you watch old video, they look like the same guy out there running around. It's pretty freaking cool to go back and watch it. I'm going to leave a video link uh, below for anybody that doesn't know about this guy or doesn't remember him playing. It's a really cool video. It's only like seven minutes. But you'll come away from that video appreciating this guy a lot more than maybe you do now. And uh, Just one of my favorite cards in my collection. I absolutely love it. And I've got two more, so bear with me. We're at right under 27 minutes right now, which I kind of figured this is how this would go. But these last two cards came in the mail today. These were two that I was waiting on. Um, this one's an upgrade to my Mike Singletary um, nickname auto that I have that's numbered 50 out of 50 as jersey number. I like this card more, and it's because it's beautiful. I mean, it really is. This is the first one of these I've owned um, from the brand new Topps Museum collection. We've got the silver ink, silver framed, on card autograph of Mike Singletary, Samurai Mike, number 19 out of 25. Just an absolute beauty. I bought this, um, I got back from Scott's trade night last Saturday. And I got back home and I contacted, this was up for sale on one of the Raz groups and it didn't fill. And it, it was a couple days before the trade night. So when I got back from trade night, I got home and I didn't, I had money because I sold some stuff while I was down there. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to contact him, see if he still has it. And if he does, and try to buy it. Well, he still had it and we came to a, an agreement on a price and he was super slow shipping because, like I said, I bought it last Saturday night and I got it this Saturday morning. It's because he didn't ship it out till Wednesday evening. And to me, that's just that's just rude. When somebody pays you instantly on a Saturday, there's no reason not to get it out Monday. I mean, really? But anyway, it's in my hands now. It's perfect. I love it. Incredible. Well, just called. And finally, I'm going to wrap up the video with this card right here. If you've watched all my videos on my Defensive Hall of Fame uh, and Legends PC, you'll notice there is a team missing from that collection. And that would be my team, the Green Bay Packers. And that's because there's when it, when it comes to the Packers, there's only a handful of guys that really stand out as defensive guys. And that would be Charles Woodson. And I have one of his autographs, and it's on a dual autograph with Clay, but I want to get one for this collection by itself. I don't have one of him yet. I want um, Reggie White. I just blanked. Reggie White is the massive, massive one on this list, and I'm hoping to come away with one of those come Nationals. And then there's this guy. And he has a few really nice cards out there. Uh, he has a bunch of cuts, and he has, I, I think, two on-card autographs. One is from 1997 Upper Deck UD Legends, which is an iconic set. 
Um, and I've seen quite a few of those out there, but this is the one I really wanted and I've been waiting for one to come up at a good price. And this one got listed on auction and I want it at a great price because they sell for 40, 50, even more than that above what I paid because it was on auction and it was a terrible listing with a bad fuzzy picture and the card came in and it is gorgeous. Um, big bold autograph but from 1997 top stars we've got the rookie reprint autograph mr ray nitschke and it is beautiful yeah love 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 this one but that's what i've got guys I actually have one more thing that I meant to show off in this video, but I left it in the house and I don't feel like getting up and going and getting in and then coming back out. I'll show it off in the next video because I've got some got some other stuff coming in. Um, a couple clays and the other uh, defensive Hall of Fame card that I was waiting on that the guy waited way too long to send out. But anyway, that's what I've got. We're over 31 minutes. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Hope you guys enjoy watching it. Um, Thank you for all the clays in here again, Luke. I really appreciate it. Love that patch card. And obviously I love all the chrome color stuff because I love rainbows. So, And yeah, that's where I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. So if you've made it through this whole video, congratulations. And I hope you'll come back and watch more of my videos. But anyway, thank you guys. Later.